What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another Patreon request. This one is from my boy Robso. So first off, thank you for the support, like always on Patreon, and thank you for the request. I'm interested in this one to say the least. He wants me to do a reaction to a video called An Incorrect Summary of Elden Ring Part 1. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing the other parts in later months or anything like that. I'm not even sure what this is about. Obviously, I have played Elden Ring. I am the true Elden Lord. I went more of a Guts Berserker Sword, dual Berserker Sword. I had the Ruins Great Sword, and I forgot what my other sword was, but love Elden Ring. One of my favorite games of all time. I don't know if this is going to be more an actual lore thing or if it's going to be more funny. I assume it's going to be funny based off what I'm seeing, but I'm very excited. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if there's any videos like this or any other style that you'd like to request that I react to. That is an available option over there. Again, thank you, Rob, so for the request. Let's hop right on into this. Hey guys, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Elden Minecraft Let's Play. Uber Band is a fun new hack and slash and bash and crash my car. Okay. Epic Games director Hydro Tacos Miyazaki with the This is going to be one of those very fast paced edited, very funny meme style videos. As he undergoes many trials and tribulations on his quest to fight the entire Catholic Church and kill God. This game is a little difficult. You could call it the Dark Souls of Skyrim. As such, many challenges just await the player and most of it is the work of satan as is every game made by the japanese spanning a gigantic world slightly larger than africa we will find many secrets uncover many attractions and slay the entire cast <laughs> of the bible i've always liked that book my favorite part was the genocide <laughs> jesus christ not margaret the fell godric the grafted radon okay little cast list what is this an anime opening ranala I must say, very fast paced, a little too fast. I want to be able to read it, but in terms of the actual talent that it takes to edit something like this, oh my God. Made by Max, or shouts out to you. Oh, I'm silly. Editing is in on point. Keyboard, so my controller can work. Now I'm free to make my character. Our journey begins inside of the Microsoft PowerPoint, sort of the quality of which being so dubious that it resurrects you from the dead. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Of course, wake up, Samurai. Game, so Spider-Man is here to send us the fuck back to our tutorial, which is a whole to a our whole tutorial. Fun. Yeah. Just making friends. I, I know so many people who skip the tutorial. It's crazy. And with that problem sorted, it's time to take the elevator so we can accomplish the impossible and go outside. Welcome everyone to Limgrave, land of trees. Lamont land of trees. The trees. And this white person. Honest, if you're lost, how about you start by finding some bitches? Some bitches, <laughs> maidenless. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty helmet wearing ass, with your weird ass cargo shorts your mama gave you? Look, what I'm trying to say is, you're fit is mid and <laughs> mid <laughs> this sounds like something i would hear on like a trash taste podcast like joey associate <laughs> all of them that's so funny in search of some bitches in dark souls we sought after the dark soul and in bloodborne we tried to escape britain but for elden ring our objective is to get the hope bitches game mechanic i didn't i didn't know the dark souls uh girl boss so with nothing else i didn't know the dark souls or bloodborne goals It took me a lot of this a lot of tries to be the tree sentinel and up proceeding out of flee and fear we must forsake direct combat in favor of the stealthy techniques of video game protagonist rigid danger mighty jungle noodle at which point they form a violence committee no bitches game over i need to play metal gear solid my finger but hold Some bitch. what the fuck my name is melatonin <laughs> and if i may inquire sir i am in need of a quirked up white boy who can bust it down sexual style not so the quirked up white boy the sauce okay no cap all we have to do now is kill every demigod on the planet everyone i'm glad you asked long ago <laughs> this land was ruled by the great queen marinara who pissed not the queen so marinara <laughs> the fucking universe now her power the amazon gift card is shattered and her athletic scions are holding a contest to see you can die the least. Jesus. So God comes back when I kill them. No, but you get to keep the gift card. Uh, These are the faces of evil who have all claimed a shard of the card. Some seek glory, others redemption, and one is just really attracted to his younger brother. <laughs> yeah. And after yeah. countless weekends at university, the tarnished warriors are called upon to rise from their tilted towers and achieve one final victory royale. Jake Paul, 
bastard of the Badlands, the ever wet skelly sleeper, the crazy car car consumer, and least of all, you tarnished warrior. Is there like an opt out? Great, I'll send you to my dimensional <sighs> market. I see. It. Great, yep, here we go. This cool. is really how this actually does Welcome go down, though. Hold. Not lying. To rest, make purchases, and converse with the homeless. Do you sell magic? Okay, Jojo pose. Chill out. Was that a Jojo reference? But uh, he's a little busy right now, so that only leaves one more person. Fia, the deathbed companion, unique among all women, including my mother, for offering to hug me. Of course, I do accept ah, for okay. gameplay reasons, but what I wasn't aware of was that this one action permanently debuffed my. I I forgot to turn it. I don't want to pause it, but I was debuffed until the very literally. I think Rykard, which is I did Rykard like third to last or second to last something fifth to last. it was one of the later bosses and i didn't know the whole time i was but her the Fuck game, the effect looks like this yes and with that i've reached my limit for human interaction so it's time to head back jesus christ to stormvale castle where we can find the first demigod on our list of all people our i really love this game like he's already done a lot of video like i've done a lot of summary and we haven't even gotten <laughs> to market you know we just got to stormvale <laughs> Not the gangster edition. God damn it. In search of the hose. In search of the hose. I hate women. That sounds like a you problem, Chief. I am also homophobic. And you are looking pretty gay right now. Hey guys, it's me, Max. Okay. Welcome to the first boss. No bitches. He's a little bit odd, yeah. Margaret Thatcher is a very strong, Margaret very Thatcher. And very interesting <laughs> Imagine boss. Imagine fighting Margaret Thatcher. You to fuck off and come back later, preferably when your bones are defragmented from the ass whooping. He combines delayed attacks, crazy combos, and eventually the hammer of God, just like the real Margaret Thatcher when she hammered English oppression into the once peaceful streets of Derry. So I Jesus. Think I, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the hint and leave. Fortunately for us, young Sheldon Ring is a game. With all kinds of Sheldon Ring. Prepare and unwind. Yep, we got to do a little training arc. For some reason, it's easier, just not too much easier. For the next leg of our journey, the now disgraced loser baby resigns himself to living in the woods. That way, he can exist peacefully among the giant bears and uh, whatever that is. Greetings, traveler. That's the goat right there. Of the woods. Uh, Have you Blyde. Seen orphanages nearby? Why are you asking me that? No reason. Legend has it that at the edge of these woods, there's a well containing the tastiest children. Okay. Go there, traveler, and I will kill the infants of your choice. Okay, this a might quest be bad, but I know a good deal when I see one. Jesus. I am blind. Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome to fucking Space Mountain. I hope you like being trapped in Smurf Valhalla because these fuckers don't play around. So to keep things short, it's Smurf Valhalla literally. The spirit of a gentle stag and my immediate impulse is to kill it. This necessitates lighting eight fires scattered throughout the sacred grove or more. Oh, this is some Persona 5 music. I just recognize that in the background. I love that. That is not something <laughs> that thought was possible, but then again, we do have sentient lightning and a uh, Mr. Krabs. So after lighting the fires at the expense of my life we devour the necessary peyote to enter the spirit not the peyote back <laughs> from the woods and they had a gym <laughs> they had a gym bambi is heated i uh, like this fight he shows me how bad i am at the video game and uh, reenacts my trips to the horse race in 2006 overall it is a riveting and accurate portrayal of how fun it is to kill innocent forest animals 10 out of PETA. and out of PETA. You don't even get anything from killing him, just the guilt. Yeah. So after exiting the hell that is Quebec, we head across Limgrave to the Weeping Peninsula, called as such for its tendency to rain and also the race war. But before we get into that, we've got a few tasks to do, just like Among Us. These include fighting the sapient tree, uncovering chests that accidentally teleport me to the end of the game. Yeah. And also the, uh, the bell. I trolled my friend by having him hit that chest that took him to Lindell. He was like, what? Loot, a woman who tells us the tale of Castle Morn, yeah, she died for me. I don't know if 
if you can have her alive in the quest, but I killed her on accident. Not, I didn't kill her, but she died. My brother in Christ, they are misbegotten Chimera, and you're going to die. So as can be expected, they massacred everyone and started a county-sized race war, and now they're sending me to clean up their human corpse ball pit. Fortunately, just like all issues in life, this one is fixed with a massacre. They haven't invented war crimes yet. Facts. I uh, like this Facts. level, actually. It's pretty short. Just like this video. My favorite. Look at the editing. That's what I was talking about. Orangutan. Oh boy, it's more animal cruelty. We're climbing back into Harambe's cage, and there is no gun. You know, when he isn't converting my bones to sand, this fight is actually easy, mainly because his health is the size of my prefrontal cortex. But even still, I had a great time reenacting the murders I did two years ago. And just like this fight, I will not face the consequences. Enjoy this while you can, because we... Oh, fuck, because we good transitions, to honestly. To talk to, such as D, a man who gives us a D's nuts. Dangers ahead. The village here has been touched by death. Thanks. As well you, as you, you think? The jar, That's the goat right there. Alexander, right? Is that his name? For suicidal thoughts. So after quelling his, our new friend Jar Jar Binks tells us to head east to an industrious land known as Gary, Indiana. You know, it seems like we're going a little bit off the beaten path with this one, but I'm pretty confident. After all, how bad can it possibly be? Kaylin. What the fuck is that? Right? Oh, no. oh, God. <laughs> yeah, fuck this area. Let's go back to the castle. Let's go this back. Time, I, I think I'll walk all the way back to Margaret. Jesus Christ. Hey guys, it's back to gangster mode. Back to the, the let's play. And now he's traveled though, he's ready. Hard and a bit distrustful. One might say suspicious. We need to eject him. Margit, more like Marge Simpson. Even with better gear, this is a fight that demands, among other things, awareness and patience. Emphasis on the patience. But most importantly, this fight requires experience. Experience gained through fighting zoo animals, dragons, and even Canadians. To watching him fight Margit though reminds me of Afro Senju watching him. It took him so many tries. Really glad we could beat the first boss up uh, nine minutes into the video. Yeah, yeah, right. Welcome everyone to Stormvale Castle, realm of the first demigod, Godric the Garfted. And if I can't get to him in 20 minutes, the lasagna is free. Stormvale is a complex, multifaceted dungeon with various paths, only one of which is correct. So instead, we take the side route across the wall, past the knife birds, and into a Chinese oh, chemical factory. <laughs> so after cracking open <laughs> the cold one with the boys, we <laughs> are relax the there. <laughs> Chinese chemical factory. Factory. Which coincidentally leads us to the castle grounds. I dubbed. I didn't know they made Irish birds. Curdle. I'm trying to sneak around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps the going. Okay, Metal Gear. I'm trying to sneak around, but the clap of my ass cheeks. He's quite the uh, handyman. Knows how to work with his hands. You could say he's quite the handful. Better use this door to uh, keep him at arm's length. I'm very funny, by the way. Stay tuned for more laughs and gags on the Big Bang Theory Sundays on NBC. I'm sorry, Odie, but I could not stop myself. After all, it was a Monday. And I hate Mondays. Pizza delivery for a uh, Garfield? It's called lasagna. Pizza Hut really ought to work on serving giant castles. I work for Domino's. Then it sounds like you could use a bit of a hand. You know, with making the pizzas? Uh, I command you to laugh. Do you know what I've gone through to make that joke? In this battle against Godric the Minecrafted, we put our patience to the ultimate test as Grandpa pilots his fucking mass grave Angelion straight into the housing market. Much like his titular cat, Godric is a fucking gremlin who attained his abilities by entering Friedrich Fastbear's mega- I love this game, though. Godric's a great boss. So the children therein to his wacky animatronic Jesus. They call him William Jesus. Jesus. Besides that, his coordination is subpar since he has to so mine a mosh pit to attack you and it's quite excessive. Godric holds all of his attacks until the heat death of the universe, which means you have to pay attention to his arm carefully, and that's pretty difficult when he's shaped like a four-dimensional object. I'm finding it not the 4D. Keep track of him. Jesus. Around and when I... So we fight him slowly and... I just took drugs. Like the Viet Cong, dodging, slicing, and dying until eventually reaching the... Uh, the... Uh... Oh. Midway part. Second phase. Oh, God. I guess he didn't need a hand. So to overcome the taxes on his 401k, Godric decides to order a bad dragon to release his inner Todd Howard's The Skyrim. Finally, I have the power to cook all the lasagna I want. Welcome to phase two, bitch. Welcome to phase two, bitch. If that's not the fucking... 
tagline for Elden Ring as a game. Welcome to phase two, bitch. I actually wouldn't mind seeing like a a montage of Elden Ring, you know? Put some music in the background. That was well edited. Harry Potter and the audacity of this bitch. He's gonna get jumped by the JoJo dude. Nothing else like it in the realm of physical science. Speaking of which, it's been at least three seconds since a homeless guy yelled at me. Let's fix that without going to Los Angeles. Hey, hey, people. Oh God. It is I, the lore man. Okay, do you know where the bathroom is? My IQ is the highest among all Reddit. That's not saying much. Did you know Ranala of a full moon resides? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's just talk to, uh, <laughs> that literally was how Gideon was. Uh, this is worse. Let's uh come back to that eventually. Oh, uh, I guess I'm stuck here. Fuck. I was about to say. Congratulations, we've made it past the. First I love when videos use persona that. music. I'm sure his subjects will remember him fondly. Remember all those adventures we had together. All those places. <laughs> we had. That was up ten percent of the map. I'll probably yeah. finish these videos in a nursing home. This is literally. Game, and wow i better call gandalf for that shit because we've got a ways to walk welcome everyone to ligma of the lakes the not the ligma lake was allowed to build Thirty thousand men have already died and on today's episode we will be heading to the second demigod on my list of political dissidents ranala of the red lobster queen of caria for at least the next 10 minutes resides in the magic or at least for the, the next Lucario. 10 minutes and to get there <laughs> the Lucar. We'll across a biological minefield known informally as the crustacean nation it is <laughs> jesus greatest challenge the fucking shrimp. I'm starting to think that PETA has a that has a point. So anyways, we have <laughs> yeah. to go to past the Octo Skeddy and get Jesus. to the track until I end up in fucking Nipton. But uh we're gonna skip over most of the side content. You could say that we don't have the time to hang out. Just know that you can find this area by Google searching Elden Ring Albania. This one is for all my baby girls. I see your there, Wasn't it like Albaneric? Not even Albania. This guy's hilarious. So after heading through the ruins of my marriage and killing the white people, we may Jesus. Hogwarts, only to find that the way is blocked by a mysterious seal, and next to it lies a map which leads straight to the key. Their security is dog shit. This puzzle should be pretty easy. All we have to do is get past the dragon that's waiting there. This game has a lot of dragons in it, so I'm going to keep a count. Just know that it doesn't get easier. So now we're at Hogwarts. Magical racism land. It's time to enact our revenge upon Chris Angel Mindfreak in one of the most pretty good-ish dungeons of the game, featuring brand new challenges and enemies such as the Spastic Child. This man, thirty times. Oh old, my God! Guy, what was this place called? Raya Lucaria Castle, whatever. I hated. Like, he's saying it's a good. Like, it was good, but the spider hands. In Matt. Oh. Why is the entrance to the school a graveyard? Is this America? Anyway, that's a good question. Ohio as quickly as possible until he said is this America singular there is only one in the entire school I guess they just do it on zoom and for today's lecture what is the dog doing what what the dog doing what the dog doing the answer is stabbing me this is one hecking speederino doggo who is frankly an insult to every wizard in the school. Their valedictorian eats his own shit. The gimmick for this <laughs> honking pupper is that he combines beast-like aggression with powerful magical attacks, but none was so devastating as when he corrupted my drive, which destroyed this video. The last minute of footage was reconstructed from memory. But besides that, his moves Is that real? No, that has to be like if that actually happened, that would suck. It really is a shame that his health bar is the size of an amoeba. I guess my weapon's just covered in chocolate. Wow, this is just like my favorite show family guy. So before we take the 30 second walk to the next boss, I acquire some uh, fat drip so I may no longer appear a hey, drip upgrader for a classroom that can't be raided. We head up the stairs to experience bowling in VR. And after learning how to phase through oncoming traffic, we become I mean, there are invulnerability frames, so that makes sense. Turtle Pope, who wants oh, the go things. His existence isn't explained and I don't want it to be. Only horror lurks behind that stair. Let's up uh, move on to something less disturbing. I can't believe I went to college without once seeing Ben Shapiro. As a fucking scholar, lady is on his foot. Less disturbing. Right? Our table! 
episode it's broken of my minecraft let's play this is a preschool man today we're going to be messaging my underage fans on the internet jesus oh welcome one jesus all, child slaughter fest 2002 twos that's right this is an american school after all jesus we're going to be teaching these kids the harsh realities of the hood now i know what you're going to <laughs> oh say my. hopefully it's not a police report max orb this fight looks kind of easy like taking candy from a baby if the candy was their still beating heart this is accurate in fact all you have to do is find the correct one to turn inside out at which point ranala basically lets you go to town the reason for this is that we aren't fighting a demigod this is the demigod's ex-wife who was dumped after she yeah. gave birth to 30 of herself to some extent i can understand but goddamn that child support kind of feel like i'm doing him a favor good evening twitter this is your boy eat that pussy four, what the four, four, fuck five, and about like 30 to 45 minutes ago He's got the EDP on the background. Jesus Christ. And right, this was in terms of like artistically speaking, and like, oh, I love Bernal's face too. Just like that moon background galaxy non never ending ocean you know i love that challenge is getting anywhere close to her this fight is essentially dark sus gwendolyn if he slash them were a good boss using a vast array of magic other bosses and the power of goku to socially the power of goku even still it's very manageable if you have any ha may ha something about how i did 70 percent of this fight is waiting for my turn it's like i'm trying to stab julius caesar make sure you like comment god damn it jesus christ to the moon so after sufficient damage is dealt, we find out that her second phase has a second phase and its other bosses, including, of course, this bastard again and the actual straight-up pack of wolves. Just make sure that you don't die, otherwise it's back to the daycare. Needless to say, this fight is a visual and gameplay feast, and by that I mean it does not end. The divorce may have hit hard, but it is hitting me harder, so let's do... He is fight. not wrong. It is a feast. I love it. Oh, there goes the camera. Chapter five, you're going oh, to Brazil. Place. It's making me want to minimize the amount of air I breathe. Greetings again, Tarn. Yeah, okay. What knowledge do you seek that brings you to my domain? Okay, so I've been to Red Lobster once already. Uh, yeah. Where do I go? You went to Red Caled. Lobster. Oh, you your yeah. Adventure in Caled, uh, in Gary, the... Indiana. No, not at all. There, there's nothing wrong with Caled. Brazil. Hey guys, need this is Brazil. Today we're going to be playing in a Tim Burton land. Welcome to Caleb. It's basically made of German bedtime stories. Who can forget such a legendary? And literally, I could see that German bedtime stories, Krampus, and anything else that looks like him. I'm sorry if you speak German, by the way. That's gotta be my least favorite disability. And on today's episode of Jesus. Dark Descent, we are invited to a festival and slumber party where the sleep is permanent, all for a chance to face off against the third demigod on my club penguin friends list. Star Scourge Radon. Radon. Hospice resides within the walls of Red Main Castle. Castle, where every year he throws a party to see who can keep their limbs the longest. The price of admission is just up, getting anywhere near him, because sometimes life is just a Bulgarian and you are an unstolen car. So we ride, vaguely and in some direction, encountering many horrifying creatures beyond the reach of God and locking myself in the cum dungeon. The other kids laughed at me. They called me Jizzy Johnson. Not no Jizzy Johnson. I remember playing that oh, game. Cool. God it's damn, a, I never want to play that again. This one is a um, quite the special encounter because we get to fight him in the volume of an aquarium. He can't really touch anything, otherwise he uh, decouples his existence. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Max or here, and today we're gonna be gaming on the moon because that's what this shit feels like. In fact, I heard you like dragons so much that I made an entire part of the map called Dragon Barrow, and I filled it with you guessed it, an obscene quantity of dragons because truly we have not fought enough of them. Yeah. I don't uh, want to be here anymore. Let's put this in the future episode box so far we've seen a lot <laughs> yeah. of traumatizing things enough to give half of all american politicians cardiac arrest but i've been saving the best for last and by best i mean the most evil game design ever conceived. scarlet rot the swamp of aeonia lies just within the center of caitlin oh yes to make ronald reagan sweat this region and pretty much all of caitlin but mostly this fucking abomination is in fact abomination which is like poison if it was made of radium and get this it's spreading you can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation right NPC just invades you in the middle of the swamp it's like i can hear the dulcet tones of the game director laughing at me for your crimes i am sending you to the moon 
This place is filled Jesus with all kinds of new ways to die. And my favorite lies at the center of the swamp, where we can find Commander O'Neill and his Bostonian Kennedy Mafia. Surprisingly enough, this is the only thing here that can't kill me. His moveset is so simple, it's Amish accessible. You could build a Not the Amish the accessible. Damage. Maybe this boss would be better with a second phase, one where he whips out his lightning cock and pulverizes me until I'm gravel. But you know, that's just a theory. A game theory. A okay. Okay, that was me. Me. His ketamine needle, which I will now put to very good use. It's like a golden needle. It is not right? called a ketamine needle. Jesus Christ. We're in a red main castle now. This entire level can be skipped because I think the devs realize that Kaylin is the actual level. Do you even yeah. know how many dogs were euthanized on my way here? Don't worry, you aren't actually missing anything unless you're a big fan of cats, such as life on the Serengeti. So, uh, welcome to the Festival of Ramadan. There are two attendants in total, and uh, one of them is this guy. Blyde. How was your journey down the well? What the fuck is wrong with We you? ate I children. Was passionate about my cuisine. Speaking of which, did you ever find those children I talked about? Welcome one and all across to Child Slaughter Fest. <laughs> no. We did. No. No. Oh. Shame. You know what? Maybe the jar will be a bit off. Okay. Uh, Misa called Jar Jar Pinks. Of obscene luck, we find a mostly sane person who tells us via YouTube rewind that Radon is not here. Technically, you see, this castle is his euthanasia clinic, and we are going to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I have to charge the switch. Is Radon's actual story and lore is sad, but super like dope at the same time. Who is the blade of Mikola, by the way? But that is a story for later. Essentially, his mind was eaten by the scarlet rot, but this man is literally too angry to die, and we are attempt number 500 to kill him. So, uh, I'm liking these odds. I'm just built differently. Very willed smithridly. Let's, uh, go start the mercy Jesus. killing. And, uh, why is he so far away? Are those summon signs? It took me 70 plus tries to beat Radon. Oh my god. Roleplay as the victim, and today this was such a good fight. Fights in all the video games. Star Scourge Radon is a big, buff, absolute unit of a boss whose only instinct is recycling your flesh back into the ecosystem. Facts. You are not alone in this battle. There is no limit on how many people you can summon, and if they die, then you can just do it again. I'm sure they won't mind. I have essentially converted the game into an RTS. And gotta fight <laughs> Radon's <laughs> in world of employee harassment. Now you can fight. We're playing StarCraft. Gamer, but why would you? This is a goddamn festival and I will not be having sex by myself. Before you can even reach him, Radon is sniping your ass with the accuracy of my opinions on the internet. Lol. A frankly suspicious amount of arrows from that is, if you want to exercise that is a sus amount. Him, you have to earn it. And that is the easy part. Even with summons, you need to pay full attention to his moveset as his attack swing wider than American elections and hit harder <laughs> than a freight train on a semi. <laughs> you may have already noticed, but that is a comically small horse. It's like I'm looking at Chiquale Onale. This is because in <laughs> Shaquale O'Nolly. Radon has the power to defy gravity. Yep. Which constantly gets in gravity magic. Bodies. This man is skateboarding a horse and holding back the stars while killing everyone he comes into contact with. And he does it from the hospice. Radon He's is the goat. God among chads, and this he is a god a among so. chads. That is just phase one. Phase two starts when he, um... You're like, where'd he go? Uh, huh? Jumps. You're like, is he dead? I think Radon might be one of my favorite boss fights in all of video game history. I can't lie. Like, look at this. Oh my god. I love this. And he's getting lower. We're finally about to beat him. We're chipping away. Jesus Christ, he is a thick one. Probably oh, felt so good to beat him. Then you just see the stars moving again. Oh god, I think my zodiac just killed itself. This is sure to negatively affect the trout population. Won't someone please think about the economy? Oh, okay, voice actor list. Shouts out Maxor for one, being a meme, being very funny, being very true to the actual game though as well. It's literally exactly how the game plays. Very good video, but I think my biggest thing is how well that was edited. Like, don't get me wrong, it was a little fast paced. Like, I watched just a little, but like, kids that are like five to eight years younger than me, they would love that. Their attention spans are so quick, I get that. 
but the amount of editing that went into that and the amount like it's a 28 minute video the amount of time it took him to make that the other voice actors he got to do the parts like it was in depth he has it chaptered off the first part is called no maidens we get no bitches we got exploration we have garfield castle red lobster and then brazil and the festival like that is just so well done i might have to watch other parts depending on what happens how this goes like i miss elden ring so much it is such a good game uh great video by max or thank you again robso for this request i was very pleased by this very very funny very good memes very relevant memes when it comes to this and and the community as a whole love the persona 5 music especially but god dang it makes me want to play the game again hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post on the dapper channel check out that patreon if you want to request me to react to anything else don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out